Welcome back, everybody. Dano Dano. I'm here uh, with a very cool collection of uh, a cool mail call from around the world. I got mail from the UK. I got mail from Australia. And I got mail from Japan. All Fallout coolness. And we're going to go ahead and open it. I got one super special one that I super hope it's real. I really hope it's real. It, it's almost too good to be true. I haven't opened it. We're going to open it together and we're going to find out. But first we're going to go through these. And uh, you may notice that I also have some stuff laid out. I have a uh, Fallout New Vegas All Rose comic signed by Chris Avalon. And I have the Fat Man Mini Nuke Launcher that I mentioned in a prior video made by Andy Hibbs. And uh, the reason why that one is significant is because I ordered something from Andy Hibbs to uh, to go with this. And <laughs> let's get into it somehow. is taped. Seriously taped. Let's try. Let's try doing this. I'm not gonna throw that one. I'm gonna throw all the stuff on this side this time because I don't want if I come around to show you some cool stuff, I don't wanna have to step over it again. <clears throat> so this is from Andy. And you're like, what is that? This is a stand for this mini nuke. Or this fat man. And I'm probably going to get it backwards a couple times. There we go. So now, instead of having it propped up on some something in my display, I can uh, have it nicely displayed as such. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's see, that looks good right there. All right, cool. This is from the UK, thank you Andy. This thing is awesome. Uh, my next one is from a, uh, a fellow collector. He makes uh, pins every month and this is January's pin. <coughs> he does a, they're all they're all pins made from uh, or made or his source material are the magazines from Fallout. I think it's neat. It comes with a little lapel pin and a nice little card. Pretty neat. This is my fourth one from him. I like it a lot. That thing is pretty sweet. Let's see if I can get this thing propped up. Ooh. All right. Now, uh, so <laughs> from Japan, I saw this. And it caught my interest. I took a, uh, a gamble with this one. And I, I hope it is what I think it is. If it is what I think it is, then I've never seen one before. 
but this may be a flop. It may just be the way they uh, presented the listing. So yes, this is a uh, <clears throat> this is another Fallout New Vegas All Roads comic book, but the reason why this one sparked my interest is because it didn't look like the other one I have. I have this one that is signed by Chris Avalon. And I also have one from the Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition. And who, so this one is different. This one's different. I'll sh let me uh, let me get this bag open up, and I will I will show you what's different about it. It's crazy. I've never seen one like this. So this one is, a, it's, it's saran wrapped, the actual book, the comic book is. So I took a gamble on it and it looks like it paid off. Alright, so let's get this eh, nice and close. And you can see it's different. It actually says Fallout New Vegas on it. The colors are uh, actually a lot brighter. They're a ton brighter. Uh, let's see. That's interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to come around and show you. Let's see. So. So you can see that the image is actually a little bit uh, more compressed, I would say, to fit onto the magazine, or the book, the hardcover. There's a whole lot more color detail. You can actually see a ton of detail on this. And it actually says Fallout New Vegas on it. And look at that. You could actually see the blue of this dude's shirt. That's super dope. I don't know if I'm going to open this though. It uh, looks to be sealed. Like, that's how it came. I have no idea where, what the... I don't know if uh, the... The Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition in Japan came with a different style, but that that's cool to me. To me, that's cool. It's different. It's good enough. Now I'm gonna need the room anyway, so I'm gonna move these off screen. Now for something that should be super cool, and I am super excited. You may have noticed my nice new shirt from the latest, uh, from the December Loop Gaming Crate. I got that today too. I don't know. That means uh, I, as far as Loot Crates are gone, I have a, I had a subscription for to Fallout. I'm up to date. Uh, I just need the December Fallout Loot Crate, and I'll be good to go. But as far as uh, Luke Gaming, I'm up to speed all the way up to uh, December. So I just need January. Ooh, boy. 
All right. <laughs> oh man, please be real. So, the box is a little beat up over here. Let's uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now this, this, this is going to cap off my uh, the tremendous amount of luck. I had this January, January of 2020, if this is real, it's May bust. Lots of bubble wrap, that's a good sign. Well, that's a very good sign. I have my first clue that this is legit. Oh, oh man! And then that's the the com the company Color Wrap. They make the custom xboxes oh man i know some of you are like oh i think i know what that is but the common one that you've seen given away and all that good stuff is the xbox one this is the xbox one x Let's get this. Ah. Oh man. Oh man. I I can't believe my luck. I cannot believe my luck. got here is a pit box model X oh man that thing's heavy and Custom controller. I I don't I know the other uh, I know the other pit box came with some sort of uh, some form of certificate of authenticity, and I don't know if this one does. Now, other than this one, I only know of one other. Pit box model X, and that is a owned by a modder. The name is eluding me right now, but they, uh, wow. All right, you guys. So this hasn't been played, allegedly. This thing looks brand new.
And I never, uh, I never thought I would be into these. I honestly never did. And uh, I tried when the uh, tricentennial one was available, like uh, through a sweepstakes through GameStop. I did not, uh, I, put, I had a lot of points saved up because I buy a lot of Fallout stuff from GameStop. But I, it, the fates weren't with me. I did not win that. But now, now that I got this, I don't know. I may have to, uh, I stepped in tape. Try and at least get the tricentennial one. Because this this thing is this thing is awesome. I uh, I can't wait to get this into my dis into the rest of this collection. My collection is getting pretty decent. This is a pretty good mail call. I mean, this isn't the only thing I've gotten this month. Um, I was gonna do a uh, a quick video after this to just go over. Just everything that I've added to my collection this month. I mean, I have I, I got a I got a couple things, but I haven't been able to actually. Uh, I'm waiting till next month to go buy some frames to get them up on the wall. But this this right here, this is this is awesome. I only know of one other person with one of these. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm gonna post this video and see what kind of reactions I get from uh, some of my buddies and from my fellow collectors. I think uh, they're going to be as shocked as I am. Thank you very much. Uh, like I said, I'm going to work on another video to kind of put together, uh, you know, things that I've acquired this year. Uh, the slow expansion of my collection. I love collecting Fallout stuff, clearly. So thank you. Thank you for putting up with this long video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I, I'm super stoked. Thank you Andy Hibbs for the Fat Man Launcher stand. Thank you Doug Marr for the pin of the month number four. Thank you fellow collectors for selling for giving me the opportunity to own these. I very much appreciate it. It's going to go, it's going to look great with everything else. I'm actually thinking about expanding what I got behind me. I mean, just for example, just reaching off screen real quick. I also recently got one of, you know, the Fallout 4 Xbox controller. So I thought that was pretty neat. I got all sorts of stuff. And not enough room to put anything anywhere. This isn't even it. What am I doing? Thank you very much. Uh, like I said, I am uh, the loot runner. I have an eBay store where I sell, I try and sell uh, eBay, or I try and sell Fallout merchandise. I try and acquire large sums of Fallout merchandise and uh, sell it at the best prices so hit me up let me know let me know what you need I'm always on the lookout I always help everyone out thank you everybody for watching I hope you enjoy it peace out